My name is Carissa Panuzzo and I am a therapist with the Center for Family Healing and today I am doing another video on body safety for children and this video is specifically on early warning signs and I have a PDF early warning signs that I got from the website E2 that's the number two and then epublishing.info and I like this website. They have a book called Some Secrets Should Never Be Kept. I haven't read their other books, but I really like this one and, and some of the PDFs that they have out there on how to teach children to be safe, to not, um, as far as they can control, put themselves in situations where they might be taken advantage of. And so one of the really important things to do for children is to teach them to listen to their body, to um, listen to their gut. Um, and not just the kind of gut instinct, but specifically their body. Because um, our bodies give us really good information about how we're feeling and about the situation that we're in. Um, it's it, body sensations and also emotions. Those are all data. They tell us things. Um, so, for example, with this PDF here, um, says, if I feel unsafe, my body lets me know. So you can teach children that your body will tell you if you feel unsafe. And then the things that they need to look for are um, maybe their hair feels like it's standing on end. Um, maybe they have a sweaty brow or they feel like they're going to start crying. Um, goosebumps, sweaty palms. Maybe they feel like they have to go to the bathroom. Fast heart rate, sick feeling in the tummy like a nervous stomach. Um, shaky all over, wobbly legs. Those are all signals to a child, to anybody really, that they are in a situation where maybe something is about to happen or something is already happening that they might not know is not okay because they're kids and kids don't always understand. And of course they're under a lot of influence from adults. So if they're with somebody that they think is trustworthy and then this person begins doing something that's not safe, not appropriate, um, or you know, just begins abusing them, they might be confused because again, you're supposed to obey adults. That's the message out there. Um, so giving them these tools of um, yes, overall you need to be obedient, but if your body is feeling this way, if you're feeling unsafe, you don't need to obey. You need to take, you need to obey your body. You need to listen to the message that your body is giving you and go find a trusted adult. In the other video on body safety that I've done, um, it talks about helping your children develop a safety network of people that you have vetted, that you have, um, really tested and found to be safe. And um, so just, you know, listen to your body and then go find these people, go be safe. And there's a couple other things that you can do to help children remember to listen to their body. One of my favorites is if my kids have been over at a friend's house or if they've been with a sitter um, or even with grandma and grandpa over the weekend, and you know maybe they went camping with another family or something like that. I will, aside from the typical, did you have fun? What was your favorite thing that you did? Um, I will ask them, did you feel safe? And I think that's a really important question to ask because um, you know lots of times, especially pedophiles, um, they're really good at making things fun for most of the time and um, trying to convince the children that they shouldn't listen to their body they shouldn't listen to how they feel and so those are very confusing messages to children so if you go ahead and ask that question specifically did you feel safe did your body ever get you know did your tummy ever get nervous or your knees ever get wobbly or did your heart ever go fast um, did you feel scared at all things like that, they're more likely to answer. I have two boys, they're three and five, and um, thankfully nothing really big has happened at all, but um, even when children are playing with children, and lots of times older to younger, or even younger, it, it really doesn't matter, but um, you know, sometimes the other children can be exposed to things that, that your kids haven't, and we've had situations like that where um, an older child has wanted to show their private parts to my children or let's let's pull down her pants um 
And so thankfully, because I, I talk to my kids about these things, they, um, you know, they know what private parts are. They know that you're not supposed to do that. Um, that private parts are special and we want to keep them private. That's why they're called private parts. Um, and they also knew how their bodies felt and that they didn't like it. And so, but again, it was their friends. So it took me asking those questions for them to tell me what happened. Um, and again, thankfully it, it hasn't been anything really big, but, um, it's important. Had I not asked those questions, I wouldn't have known and I wouldn't have been able to tell their parents and say, Hey, you know, this happened. You might want to watch out for this. And, and then, um, this mom in particular is like, yeah, I know. Um, I thank you for telling me because this is something we've been working on. And again, it was, it was largely innocent because the kids are young enough, but it's something that you kids are curious. Um, it's just something that you want to not allow to continue and to be vigilant about. So teach your kids early warning signs and body safety. Um, again, I really like the book, Some Secrets Should Never Be Kept. You can order it on Amazon. Um, I'm not financially involved with these people, but I, I just really like the resources that they have. On the website, they have downloads, they have this, they have this, which is in my other video. Um, there's some other ones out there, and so it's highly, highly recommended. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for loving children. Thank for you for being safe. Um, you, you are really important, and I love that you are willing to teach these things to kids, even though it's uncomfortable and scary. But um, you know, as they say, knowledge is power, and um, that's true. Let's empower our kids.